Hi, I'm Julie Eau Claire. You're watching Parents TV. During your pregnancy, it's especially important to pay attention to what you're eating. After all, you're providing nutrients for yourself and your developing baby. Now that means many women have to make some changes in their diet. Well, today, Dr. Alan Green, author of Raising Baby Green, is here to show us some examples of what foods to avoid and what to include. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Julie. Great to be with you it's today. It's always great to have you, Doctor. And first, let's start with, with some foods we should avoid. These are some things that we eat every day when we're not pregnant, but suddenly when we are pregnant, they're not okay anymore. Right, the, the developing baby is more vulnerable than we adults are, and the placenta does an amazing job at nourishing and protecting the baby, mm -hmm. but there are a few things that you have to pay attention to. Okay, fish number one. Talk to us about which fish we should be avoiding. So there are a few fish you need to avoid because of the mercury and PCB pollutants in there. Things like swordfish and shark, tilefish, king mackerel you want to avoid. Okay. Also, uh, raw fish, raw sushi or raw oysters you want to avoid because of infections. What's okay? There's a bunch of fish that's great for the developing baby and for you. Things like wild salmon, mahi-mahi, bay scallops. And in Raising Baby Green, I have a long list of all the great fish you can eat. Okay, listeria can be very dangerous for a woman who is uh, pregnant. Tell us what foods contain it. What should we be looking for? So listeria is a bacteria that can be devastating for a developing baby. And the thing that's different about it is it can live, it can thrive in a refrigerator where most bacteria just don't do well there. Mm -hmm. So soft cheeses are one place to be concerned about. I would avoid brie, camembert, any soft cheese or any cheese with blue veins in it could have the bacteria in there. Um, another place you can find it is in luncheon meats. Things like uh, uh, cold cuts, hot dogs before they're cooked could have it in there. Uh, leftovers in general could have listeria really? in there. Yeah. So, as a rule, should a, um, a pregnant woman not eat leftovers? So, the thing you can do is as long as it's heated to steaming right before you eat it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't eat uh, salad, prepared salads from a deli counter, leftovers, these meats, unless they're cooked right away. So, with other foods, sometimes is it a matter of just, like beef, for example, just cooking them a little bit longer than we normally would to make them safe? That's right. Besides listeria, there are other infections that can be real problems, E. coli, salmonella, Toxoplasmosis can be tough for developing babies. So with ground beef, you want to make sure that it's cooked so it's, there's no pink left. So we're showing a burger right now that is pretty rare. Right. That's that, not okay. Not during pregnancy. Okay. Well done. Medium well. You, you want no pink visible. That, that's the the side the the guideline for ground beef. Okay, what else? Um, and then eggs also, you need to make sure they're cooked so that the yolk and the white is not runny. There are some other sources of raw eggs that we might not think of. Exactly. Things like hollandaise sauce. Right. Uh, cookie dough is another one. A uh, lot of people like to eat raw cookie dough, but that's that's a no-no when you're pregnant. No-no when you're pregnant. But okay to cook the cookies. But okay to cook the cookies. Okay. Enjoy the cookies. <laughs> and of course, you it's always been recommended to avoid alcohol and to avoid caffeine, but is there any amount of alcohol or caffeine that is okay. There is no amount of alcohol that's safe for developing baby. And as for caffeine, it's a little controversial. We know that over one cup a day, over 150 milligrams a day, does increase the risk to harm to the baby. One cup a day, some data says there's a problem. A lot says there's not. But more than that, it's certainly not a good idea. All right, let's move on to things that we should be eating yes. and eating a lot of during our pregnancy. You recommend uh, there are some certain nutrients that you need to have in your diet. Right. During pregnancy, your nutritional needs change because you're building a whole new body inside of you. And there's four nutrients, vitamins and minerals in particular, that needs go way up. The first one of those is folate, and you hear about it uh, to prevent neural tube defects, sure. and yes, it's good for the brain and developing nervous system, but every time you make a new copy of DNA, you need folate folate to do it right. Where do we find folate? And the name gives you a clue. Foliage is the place. Uh -huh. Green leafy we vegetables right is here. the best source of folate. Okay. The second one to look for is iron. Mm -hmm. a, a pregnant woman's own blood supply goes up by a third during pregnancy and the baby has to make all of his or her blood from scratch mm -hmm. and that scratch includes iron. Okay. And so green leafy vegetables again are a great source. Beef is another good source of iron. Long as well you cook cooked. It well. right. right. And okay. organic for beef I think is a good choice okay. too. Okay. Vitamin B6 is the next one. It helps in making serotonin and other neurotransmitters that can help moms be happy uh, during the pregnancy and postpartum time. So make sure you get enough. One baked potato a day will give you all the extra B6 you need, or one banana a day would do it as well. Okay, what's next? Next is zinc, and that's the mm -hmm. fourth one of these, the last of those nutrients. And zinc is something that's also used in a hundred different processes in the body, including helping the immune system function well. So very important. Right, and you can find that in beef or chicken. You can also find it in mushrooms, in beans, mm -hmm. pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds are good sources of zinc. Okay. Now there are four other nutrients that a significant number of American women are not getting enough. 
and, and I'm very concerned about these. Okay, tell us about them. First one of those is, is calcium. So important. It's, it's really important. If you're not getting enough, that's going to come out of your own bones and okay. cause real problems there. Get so you definitely want to get calcium. So milk is good. That's another one to do organic. Next one is choline, a nutrient a lot of women haven't even heard of. Mm -hmm. It influences the baby's ability to learn and particularly memory. Uh, it comes from choline, and many women are not getting enough. Eggs are a great source of choline. Okay, the next one. Next one is DHA. Important for everyone, whether you're pregnant or whether not. Whether you're pregnant or not, but the highest needs in life are during pregnancy, and it, sadly, it's the time people get the least. Wild salmon is a great place for that, or mahi-mahi is another good source. You can also now get it organic milk with DHA. Okay, now water is important for people to drink every day. Eight glasses of water you hear all the time, but what about pregnant women? Do they need more of that? More water for pregnant women? Three liters a day is the target to go for. I'd just recommend getting a stainless steel canteen and carrying it around with you. And finally, Dr. Green, how important are prenatal vitamins? Prenatal vitamins are very important throughout pregnancy, but what most women don't know is the most important days are before the pregnancy test even turns positive. Ah. So I suggest taking them if you might get pregnant. Okay, if you're thinking about it, start taking them. That's right, and you can get them over the counter wherever vitamins are sold. Good to know. Dr. Green, thank you so much for coming in. Great information you've given us, and if you'd like more details, you can go to drgreen.com, or you can pick up Dr. Green's book, Raising Baby Green. It's in bookstores now. Thanks for watching. Parents TV, your source for the best information for your growing family. Thank you for watching Parents TV. Our families, our lives.